may be a bit personal for, for a press conference, but since uh, Ms. Vanda started it in her autobiography, I, I, I think I'm entitled to ask you, I'm here. Um, you, you mentioned that during the shooting um, of Barefoot in the Park, you were not just jokingly a bit in love with uh, Mr. Redford, but, but you actually were, really. <laughs> uh, and, and that you had somehow the feeling that it was uh, maybe a bit mutual, but you, you both had... I think you mentioned that. <laughs> okay. Uh, but that you were both in, in relationships at the time. So I wonder whether this feeling of at least... Um, liking each other very much without ever having it amounted to something um, in a carnal way, <laughs> whether, whether that, that never was something... never too late. <laughs> yeah, whether that was brought to the set somehow for, for this movie, because it's, it's quite on topic here, uh, and whether that had an influence on, um, on, on, on your uh, relationship as characters in this movie. Well, I think you can say there were things that were unspoken and spoken. And the unspoken, I think, carried a certain weight to it. That's all I'll say. See, for me, when I was doing my preparation for the movie, his character, Lewis, years ago had an affair with a teacher, an Indian woman. And I think that my character, my husband, well, anyway, I, I think that I started fantasizing about him then. And so he has been a fantasy Lewis was a fantasy of mine for a long, 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 long time. You didn't, I never told you that, so. No, you didn't. No. So, uh, that was part of what made her want to, just to be with him, to go there. There's a lot that I didn't tell you about my preparation I, I for can, the movie. <laughs> is it all going to come out here? It's all going to come out here, <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a question there. Uh, from Oberon Media uh, for Fashion TV. It is a hope to beauty to see the two of you both in the big screen and here live. Thank so you. first of all, I want to thank you for the eternal message of beauty that you give us as a gift. And my question is, uh, what do you remember of the first time you met? The, the, when you've been introduced or the first time you spent some time together, what do you remember about it? Can you tell us something more? Well, Thank I you. think I just did. I think I mentioned the fact that when I first met Jane and we came together, it was something very natural that occurred that didn't require a lot of discussion and it was just so natural, it just fell into place. And so that, I think that, Jane can speak for herself, but I think from my standpoint, it created a, a, a very natural rhythm that didn't require a lot of talk, didn't require a lot of prep or anything like that. It just kind of fell into place. And so therefore we just took it from there throughout. And so it, it stayed with us through all the films we made together. I remember the first uh, time that I, I spent some time with him, we were at Paramount Pictures, which is the studio that made Barefoot in the Park. And we were walking down a corridor in the administration building. And I noticed that all the secretaries Oh my God, there he goes. Oh, oh, look, there he goes. And I just thought to myself, oh my God, this man is going to become a huge star. And, you know, he, it, it was, you could feel it in the air the way women responded to him. And it was, it was very, very exciting to be working with him at that, at that early stage. And that's never changed, I think. <laughs> uh, you know, I'd like to say something. Um, is this going on too long? No. Okay. Um, I'd like to say something about getting older. Uh, because I think when we're young, we don't think about that, or at least I didn't. And you just love the chances you're taking without thinking about it. Um, and then what you have to adjust to, which has been on a personal level very difficult for me, because when I was young I was very athletic and I could move the way I wanted to move, when I wanted to move, and never thought about it is that you suddenly realize you have to start being careful. And I find that hard to deal with, having to be careful. But if you're not careful, the consequences are great. Um, there was just one thing I wanted to say about the sadness of getting older, is that you have to give up certain things you had when you were young you didn't have to think about, and suddenly you do. And that creates a restriction of some kind, and that's kind of sad.